I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMER2 News Update. There is a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest in a triple shooting on Thanksgiving. It happened around 1.30 in the afternoon on Mead Village Circle in Anne Arundel County. Police say a fight broke out after a football game and three men were shot. They were all taken to the hospital and one man, Lewis Newman III, died. Police arrested Keith Eldridge shortly after the incident, but he's not currently charged in the shooting. Investigators are hoping a witness will come forward. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. Well, there are new hours this week for COVID-19 testing at the Baltimore Convention Center. It'll be open Tuesday and Thursday from 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. and Wednesday and Friday from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. You don't need to make an appointment, but they are strongly encouraged. And a couple school systems have temporarily returned to virtual learning. This is because of concerns about the coronavirus spreading after the Thanksgiving holiday. Baltimore City Public Schools will do virtual learning all this week. And Catholic schools in Baltimore have switched to virtual learning for the first three days of this week. Anne Arundel, Carroll and Hartford counties already moved back to virtual learning. And Howard County will stay virtual through at least April. And we'll be waking up with temperatures in the upper 30s and the lower 40s. But keeping that extra cloud cover around through the afternoon, daytime highs will only make it up into the mid and upper 40s. And keep in mind, winds will be quite blustery. So it's going to add some additional chill to the air, especially the way they're coming from out of the west northwest. Going to keep wind chill values in the mid and upper 30s as we head into the afternoon. But as we head into the next couple of days, temperatures stay below normal before they start to make a comeback back into the low to mid 50s heading into 30s. Thursday and Friday. Showers are possible as we finish off the work week, but looking a little bit drier as we progress into the upcoming weekend. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, make sure you download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can take a look at our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction. 